A long time has come, one week out from heading to Alaska on a DIY moose hunt. Trying to fit all of this into that and that. Wife's coming with for the adventure, 10 day drop hunt. He's not so excited that he's got to stay here. It took four different flights to get to our final destination in Alaska. Our first trip out of North Dakota through Minneapolis was uneventful and the sights from Minneapolis into Anchorage were pretty spectacular. Um, after an overnight in Anchorage, we finally jumped on our last flight into Bethel, Alaska and a final puddle jumper out into the lake country where we were going to be setting down and finally hunting some moose. Well, there goes our ride for 12 days. Since we're out here a day early. Fisher, yeah. she's taking off her waders here. Looking good, babe. There he goes. Beautiful day. We saw a lot of moose on the way in. Two really good ones. So that's all we need. Right, Drew? Got it. All right. Hey, home sweet home. Bunch of thick willows right off this lake. Some meadows on the other side. So I have to do some exploring this afternoon. Long, narrow, about a two mile long lake. And the moose were, of course, at the other end, but they move. All right, day one of the hunt. Anticipation's at an all time high. Uh, we get up, daylight's just breaking, and as luck would have it, we have a nice moose right across the lake from the camp. So we quick gather our stuff, get dressed, throw in our packs, and uh, quietly paddle across that lake and try to make a move on this bull. Drew's up to bat first. All right, the first morning. We never did find those moose that morning. Um, there was that nice bull, a cow and a couple calves, and we just could not come up with them. I went around circling, um, try to get the wind in my face and spot and stock through all those willows, but nothing. Fresh sign everywhere. So I ended up back and I was going back to camp and formulating a plan for that afternoon. Uh, we decided to blow up the raft and paddle down the lake to where we saw some of those moose from the plane. Um, a lot of sign down there too, but that night was a complete bust. We did not see a moose that night. So the next morning, we decided to hunt again closer to camp. Well, here we are, morning of day two. Lots of fog. Yesterday, uh, 
had some moose that we spotted from camp. Tried to make a play on them, but they got into the willows real quick and never did see or hear a moose after that. It's beautiful, no wind, sunshine. Kind of like today, unfortunately, but lots of vlog this morning. It got below the freezing last night. This is our game plan. Call every once in a while. Sit here. Look. And read. And hopefully hear a moose. Disabilities, maybe. 300 yards or so. But we're on a nice, big, wide open meadow. Got a lake behind us. A lake in front of us, about a half mile. And we got a uh, hourglass behind us that goes right between the lakes, so with a big old trail, lots of beds, lots of moose droppings. Should be good. It's gonna pop out of those willows as well. Well, unfortunately, this cow was the only moose we saw that morning. We decided to head back to camp and formulate a plan for the afternoon. What are we having for lunch on day two, you guys? Long hot dogs. Yeah, um, and roast beef. All right. That's the pre-hot dog <laughs> prep right there. Mayo, ketchup, mustard, roast beef. Pan-fried hot dog. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. Delicacy. Now we just need the moose to cooperate, so we can eat real food. Alright, that afternoon we decided to give the other end of the lake a chance. Uh, we paddled down there a little bit earlier than we did the night before, hoping to catch something. Uh, one thing we did notice is there were so many trails going back and forth, you could see it in the grass in the lake where moose were crossing all the time. So hopefully we just uh, catch one of those trails. We took it easy on the way down, and as luck would have it, a cow and a calf came out on one of those trails right in front of us on the way. Thank you. 
gosh, you kept on looking back behind her, so our wind's more or less going right down the lake. So we're just gonna hang out for a while. We got about two hours before dark. See if there's anything else that comes down the trail. We ended up seeing another cow and a small bull across the lake in a different spot. So we got back on our rafts, hurried across the lake, and tried to sneak up in there. We couldn't quite tell how big the bull was yet. Battling along in the raft, we heard some brush raking. So we came up here, there's a bunch of water in front of us, but there's a bull and a cow. Pulled up in front of us. Then we got a bull to our right that's coming all way down there. Then we got a big cow in the middle of the river down the stream here. We got elk all up our uh, moose all over. That's a nice bull. This is a shooter bull. Maybe we should run down and try him. So there's the other bull that came out. Stuck in the middle of the river. Just waiting for him to make the move. What side he's gonna go to? What we battled in on this guy? Oh. 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 Oh! Oh! Give me up there. Oh! Super cool. Got into about 100 yards. That was a lot of fun. Looking forward to tomorrow. Today's movement was a lot better than yesterday. So we've seen two bulls with cows now. And before the cows and calves have all been together, the bulls by themselves. So it's starting to happen. They're chasing them around. Well, we are right behind camp this morning for day three. Last night was pretty awesome. Battle in the lake and seeing all those moths, but. Drew and I took a walk behind camp yesterday and just a ton of fresh sign. Quite the moves are traveling. All these edges of willows. It's kind of one monster meadow right behind camp. So we're hoping to catch them on the edge.
Pops this morning and try to do some calling to him, but nothing so far. All the action has been on the lake. But there's so much sign, we have to give it a shot. And there's another smaller lake in front of us. While the mornings continue to plague us, we see so much sign, but yet no moose. And decide that down the lake is just where we gotta spend our time. So that's where we're going. Alright, tonight we're back on that Beaver Dam where we saw that big guy, he was right across. So we're gonna just sit and wait it out. A cow called not too long ago. And we heard a cow in these woods in here. And also Drew heard a faint bull grunt. So I think we're in the chips tonight. Feels good, feels right. Hard at it, reading her book. She's her eyes and ears out here. Right there by the tall aspen. So we had a couple of small ones last night too, so we're right in the thick of them. setting. Our wind is going that way. So she's just got to come on the right side. Otherwise we might get busted here. They're so big. Finally, the bull we had been hearing all afternoon stepped out of the trees. I gave my wife a video camera and I got in the ready position and started calling and hopefully uh, we'll pull him across this meadow to get an archery range. After many efforts of calling, bull grunts, cow moans, raking the brush, nothing seemed to matter. So now was the time I chose to put down my bow and grab my rifle and, uh, and a stick and try to steady myself fresh out of this bull when he gave me the opportunity I was looking for.
I have never had a face-off with an animal as long as I did with this bull. He was always facing me, or he was in a depression where he was too low, I couldn't get a good shot at his vitals. So I tried to tell my wife that as soon as he came out of this last depression, he was in a direction where he was going to be broadside, and that's when I was going to take my shot. Just working our way through the weeds here. It's between us and the brush line here. Maybe. I think I'm going over here. Justin. To his big bowl. There's a large critter. Wow. One and two. First and second. <laughs> That's where you want him. You ready? Yeah, I'm recording, man. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Ooh, you bomb. Huh? You bomb, kid. That'll probably work. Yeah. One ham down. Out here taking care of a moose. And almost the dark with my wife. <laughs> Except you can't look at me with your headlight on. Oh, sorry. This is truly a dream come true in Alaska. All right, about nine o'clock, morning after last night, shot the moose at 8.30, and got to bed at three in the morning. Little breakfast of champions here. Some macaroni, hot dogs, green beans, courtesy of Trish, some coffee going. A little mist this morning, a little gray, after yesterday's bluebird sunshiny day, so. It'll be a good day. Alright, the next caravan. I'm going to get the moose that we put up last night. trisha has got the frame pack, I got the kuyu. Drew's got the raft. We're hoping to put the quarters in the raft, be able to slide it across this grass. But this grass is full of these holes and water. 
Last night it was terrible to walk through in the dark, but had a bunch of ravens here this morning. And hoping they were on the carcass and not tearing apart our meat bags. There goes one right there. All right, walking up upon the carnage. Moose media here. No bears. Lots of birds around. And moose trail. Meat hanging everywhere. Quarter, 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 quarter. Big loins, big a trim, big a trim. In good shape, guys. All right, 100 pound. Moose quarter. Cut off that top foot. Start fitting the frame back a little bit better. But this ground is terrible. Let me show you this. See if I can flip this guy around. So this ground is just full of random holes. I'm on this moose trail, but what's the size of their tracks? Just holes everywhere. Makes it uh, really unfavorable walking with weight and no trekking poles. That would have been a key thing to have. But the lake is just ahead. So from where we bagged everything last night to the edge of the lake where the raft is, is maybe a hundred yard pack. So then probably three or four trips back to campsite, about a mile down the lake. Not bad at all. Here comes the meat ride. The meat wagon. What do you have on for food today? Crispies. Quarters and trim, back straps, cape, antlers for takeout. Out goes the meat. Fresh moose, pan fried with lots of butter and garlic. Trish, what do you got cooking there? Instant mashed potatoes. Oh, delicious. With a carton whole milk. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh yeah. Well, today is an official rain day in Alaska. Fastened up a little makeshift overhead tarp protection. It's perfect. Move all of our food up here. Cooking up some sausage, coffee, pancakes. All these willows provide our wind block. Couldn't be any better, right guys? Right. Everybody's happy. Everybody's safe. We're good. Well, here we are, day two in the rain and wind. We do have a little sun out, a little rainbow. 
Everybody's in a fantastic mood, right, Drew? You know it. All right, we're smiling. Trish, you smiling? Barely? All right. <laughs> Coffee's on. We're going to get warm insides. We have moose around camp. We've seen a cow in a bowl today. One of the bowls, well, the bowl is very, very nice. So hopefully the weather breaks a little bit towards evening. All right, Drew and I are gonna give a new area a shot. It's raining. We sat at this meadow to our right a few different mornings in a row. Our lake ends here. Another one begins up there, about a 40, 50 foot portage or so. So we're gonna look over this new lake tonight and give it a shot and see what happens. I do. Let's get him with a bow, man. It was at this point that it got extremely chaotic extremely fast. So as we were going through these willows to look at that meadow, it was blowing extremely hard. So we had some cover, thank God. But this bull moose stepped out right in front of us on the trail and just happened to turn and go away from us. And we like dropped to our knees instantly. We let him get out in the meadow a little bit. Then we picked up and ran out towards him for the shot. Check this out. load. Uh, one bag of the trim and loin is the most awkward load probably just because there's some rigidity in the quarters but it feels good and it's the last load. Drew shot this moose last night. We quartered it. Got everything in bags. Well, totally. He took all the meat out. 
Got everything in game bags, hung it up in trees, and hauling the meat back to the raft this morning. And should be able to get it in two load trips back to camp. We call base and say, come get it. It's a great day. I shot mine on day three. Drew on day six. Missed day five because of rain. So, awesome, awesome adventure. And lots of meat. Well, for the first time, we can have a fire. Two moose on the ground, and of course it's raining again. But somebody's much happier with the fire. Woo! It's not much of one, but it's a fire, keeping us warm. Well, we are heading out. This raven is coming to say goodbye, apparently. All of our stuff waiting for a pickup. Spent yesterday all day under a tarp because it rained. Happy Trish, getting out of here. All right, see, you ready to go home? Let's go home. Well, I finally think we're getting picked up after a three hour delay of when they said they were gonna be here. That is a welcome sight. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I really enjoyed putting it together for you. Um, any questions at all about the logistics or the hunt itself or a DIY outfitted moose hunt in Alaska, let me know. We went through a company called Renfro's Alaskan Adventures and they were great from start to finish. They supplied us with the food, the tents, and the cots. The rest of it was on us and you were limited to 50 pounds of gear. So any further questions, by all means, let me know. Please hit that like button and I hope you enjoyed the video.